Good morning, you absolute legends. I'm going over to Sean's house to hang out and see what he's doing. He's doing some pretty cool stuff in his garage. So we're gonna go check it out. I think he's even got a bike frame as a lamp. Man, you shouldn't be filming me today. I haven't even looked at my, uh, should I put a hat on or something? <laughs> I'll go get my Maven out. Let me put my Maven out on. So this is uh, Shawnee's temporary. Would you say temporary, or this is full? This is it now. It's like a kind of temporary, but like this is gonna. Well, I'll definitely keep this as a workshop going forward. Even, yeah. even if I did another shop yeah. soon, it you could would. be yeah. a really good second yeah. little workshop space. Yeah. 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 Shawnee's moved into his garage at home for a temporary space and, until he finds a more permanent space. But mate, this setup in here is how everyone would want this, their bloody garage set up, wouldn't they? Just need to fix the lighting and the, the holes in the roof from the, the yeah. fire. But, uh, yeah, there's a few little bits and pieces that need to be done, but how's these? Well, Todd set this up. So Todd did, Todd, you're a carpenter or a cabinet maker? Carpenter. Carpenter. Todd's a, um, a carpenter and he did Stephen Lane's set up for his testing, so that in, in my old videos where you would have seen us do some testing at Stephen Lane's place, he did all that sort of cabinet. But he's done this whole setup in here, and mate, it looks amazing. They've got an S-Works and a Neil Pride set up as lamps. Toddy thinks he's a bit of a, a mustache hero at the moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, do, you know, do you know Mitch? Uh, I forget his last name, but he rides with the St. Cloud crew, and uh, no. he's, he's got a pretty solid mind. He's had it Is for he? a while. Yeah. And, uh, I could see Todd and him, uh, they kind of like, they, they got each other, they understood yeah. each other. It's like when you but there was look little... at one another and you go... <laughs> but it's also a bit like, it's a bit like when you see two really good looking girls, they're kind of like, they're like, alright, I get you, We're both hot. but stay the f away from me, you know, yeah. because this yeah. is my area. Yeah. And that's why he sat on the complete other side of the cafe. Yeah, right. He didn't even come and say hello. No, he, he spoke, chatted. He spoke. Chatted but for a while. you've got to be careful because, like, if this tangled in his and he walked away, yeah. You've what got if problems. I lost hair? You've got major problems, yeah. Major. And, and you can't lose one side of your mouth. No way. Sick. Yeah. They look good for are him. They right him. Are they Shimano? No, they're not. That's mm -hmm. a surf brand. <laughs> oh, so they're just surf shorts? Yeah. Okay. This cool. is not a paid advertisement. No. <laughs> Actually, no. Migs, I've been meaning to buy from you guys because you've got the Pearl Azumi like short liners. That's what we're gonna get. Yeah. Pearl Azumi do the like boxer brief with the little chamois. Mm. It's perfect for like this kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they're quite good. Yeah, gonna yeah. get some of those. But anyway, completely off topic. I am at Factory Found, uh, Factory Found, Factory Sound in South Melbourne, and uh, Hannah and I, because I'm starting, I'm gonna start doing a podcast. That's where I th that's what I think it's at, right? So in addition to my videos, so what I'm going to do now is get a, a couple of microphones and a few bits and pieces for the podcast, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing going on a regular basis. What are you doing? Taking a quickie. Because you got three flights. Yeah. It's that bloody vindaloo. <laughs> It did loop. nothing except for give me happy heartburn. Come in. Oh, you're a good man. Thanks, bro. What was that? All right, so I've walked into uh, Factory Sound, and Luke here, is, oh, just as I uttered the words, I want to start a podcast, Luke has gone, I watch your channel. So you're a big good. cyclist? Yeah. yeah. Racing? Not racing, no. Not just racing. for fun. We're gonna, hey, just we're going to get him into it. Right. All right, we need a couple of mics. Yep. Road Podcast will be the one. Yep. Plug it into an interface. Yep. A couple of boom arms. A couple of boom arms, yeah. And that'll be the best way to get you started. And so, and they plug into what? A mixer? Into uh, an audio interface, which will then get everything going in your uh, into the computer. Love boom. It. Let's Easy. do it. Right, so you're going to do the first podcast with me? No, no chance. Yeah. <laughs> no chance. 219. So we got that. For what else we got? Luke? Um, got uh, our pre sonus audio box. It's an interface to connect everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah no okay. worries. A couple of stands. Yeah. A couple of stands. Some wind socks so you don't get the pops and plosives. Oh, that's, yeah, okay. And stock. cables yeah. to pipe it all together. All right. Somebody else. I'm excited. Let's do this. Come in right. We can pick it up. Uh, 
I haven't broken anything. So that, uh, the microphones plug into those little holes there. And these are the microphones, two microphones. So essentially tomorrow, when I sit down tomorrow with Dave Saunders, he can have a mic, I can have a mic. We're actually gonna do the interview in here because it's nice and quiet. And I can set up a couple of cameras and we might be able to get some decent angles and audio happening. And I will have lifted my game with these videos. Well, I don't even know how to set this stuff up yet, so hopefully I can actually get it working. Oh, look at that. Nice little pencil case. How good is new toys? New toys are sick. Luke at Factory Sound, he set me up, uh, gave me a discount on all the stuff, and um, so I still paid for it all, but um, he set me up with all the stuff that I need and he gave me a discount simply because he's a viewer of the blog. So really nice guy. Good. ASMR channel. Pardon me, boy. Who's out the cat that chewed your new shoes? Really like these. Because you can use these for all sorts of things. You could use these, if not for the mics, for all your bits, like GoPro bits and pieces, you know? Just keep it all in there. So they're really handy. Yeah, that's the setup, so it's pretty straightforward. So Dave will sit here, I'll sit there, and then I think I'll do a lot of my interviews like this, whether I take these to a cafe, connect them up to my laptop. I think it's just a more professional, better sound quality. So it's gonna be good. It'll be good to try it out anyway. I'm now gonna to go to Sandown, and I'm gonna have a tr another go at racing. So hopefully tonight I can make it all the way through the race and not get dropped. The disc brakes are sick. Are they? Yeah. So disc brakes are where it's at. It's a beautiful bike, eh? Yeah. Um, yeah, disc brakes. Very nice. You liking it? Yeah. You reckon they should all go disc? Uh, I think that's sort of where it's headed. Yeah. Um, and I reckon it's a good thing. They're just so good for crits and descending and yeah. um, all that. Friggin' legend, how are ya? What's going oh, good. on? I've been here for ages. I know. Good to see you. Great to see you, mate. So, how you been going? You been racing well? Are you recording this? Oh, yeah. yeah, good. I've done 40 since you took me to the first crit November 16. Yeah. I've done 48 crits. 48. So, mate. This is so funny because I remember saying to you, you've got to come down and do a crit, and you were reluctant. You were yeah, like, no. Yeah, like everybody. And, I, and I've taken a few mates down, and they loved it. Yeah. It's just get it breaking into a new, a new club, really, isn't it? A new yeah. scene. A new, a new scene. Yeah. Make some friends. Yeah. Oh, good on you. Yeah. And you're managing to juggle with all the, all the oh, surgery? Oh, look, I take the bike to work, and if I get away on time, I do. If I don't, I don't. So. You ever get stuck in theatre? Yeah, occasionally stuck in theatre or patients or whatever. So, to bring the bike home. But I'm ready to go every Tuesday, Thursday. 4.30. What do you prefer? Masters or uh, to start oh, the Masters? Masters or is a bit, suits me a bit more. Does it? Masters suits me a bit more. Yeah. Not as many um, surges, a bit more consistent. Yeah. Uh, just suits my temperament. Yeah. I made it. That's the part that I'm stoked about. I made it all the way around the course. All 55 minutes plus two laps. And I think I, I like temporarily sprinted. Let's have a look at the footage. All right, this is the last lap of the Sandown Criterium B grade. Um, coming up the back straight, uh, I pretty much recorded all of this race on GoPro, but this is, I thought I'd just go through the sprint with you. I can't believe I'm actually still here at this bit. Uh, don't have my heart rate monitor on, but you can see we're popping up to 600 watts there across the top of the screen, and everyone's always a bit edgy in the last lap, last couple of laps. Uh, 40 k's an hour uphill, and so everyone's sort of trying to get themselves in position for the sprint, uh, the bunches together, and uh, I'm pretty far back. I'm, I remember through this bit I was really holding back. I mean, I'm so unfit at the moment that I was really holding back, not throwing up. Uh, it's crazy how this imagery, this, this footage here, just doesn't tell the full story because I was, I was really struggling through here. And you can see there's maybe 30 riders in front of me. And so, you know, the takeaway from this is if you're fit and you're this far back coming into the third last corner, you're 
too far back, way too far back. Um, even with a headwind sprint, you can see that's uh, the long way. That's a long way to make up. So we're flying through here, 50, you know, 54 kilometers an hour, kicking up to 700 watts there. Really strung out through here. They're starting to ramp up. And as they come into this little chicane, they sort of sit up a little bit and spread out across the road. People don't want to be too far forward, but they want to sort of maintain a position where they're going to be protected into that headwind on the home straight. And so everyone comes through here. And again, I'm way too far back, even if I was fit. Um, so we ramp it up up to 800 watts there and I'm sort of in pushing up and through the gears now up to 1100 1200 and hitting 1280 watts and I'm full tilt but I've realized you know what if I don't stop sprinting I'm gonna vomit and so I stopped there I was sprinting for like 20th position anyway but um, it was just good to be up the front of the bike race and actually finish a race again and it's been a long time since I've done that it's got to be over a year now, so I was pretty stoked. So how you going, mate? I'm naked. How'd you go? Third, D. You're third in D grade. Yeah. Congratulations. Well. That's awesome. Sprint? Yeah, got people on the line. Did you? Again. Always seems to be the way. That's all right. Got to start right. leading the little ones out. Yeah, you don't lead it out. That's the only thing. It's hard not to. It was really good racing out there tonight. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Very tough with the wind. Very, um, it was very windy, hey? Oh, it's killer. Yeah. But the harder we work, the better we'll get. And the funny thing is you can really see the sun starting to go down earlier now, isn't it? And it's going to get dark riding home soon. So winter is coming. The cold mornings. How'd you go? <laughs> oh, went alright. Came uh, second. Second? Yeah. Second in what? In C grade. Oh, that's awesome. Took a bunch of sprint, but there was another guy up the road, so... Was there? Yeah. Apparently he pulled a shifty. <laughs> Okay, I need to give you a little bit of context around this bit. The guy that won Chris's race, uh, he attacked during the neutral zone, so there was a crash and that C grade was neutralized for a little bit. But the guy who won it, he sort of pushed off the front and I don't even think he meant to do it. I think he's just a novice rider. I don't know, I'm, I'm making assumptions, but from what I heard, he didn't mean to. But he, um, he sort of kept pushing off the front and that's how he got into a breakaway, a solo breakaway. He ended up winning the race but he was sitting right next to us and I didn't realize that at the time so here I am the guy to my right was telling me how this evolved and I was like oh he's pulled a bit of a shifty so Chris's reaction when he realizes the winner is sitting right next to me was priceless yeah I don't know don't know the details but okay. yeah so it was good though good race okay cool Good stuff. Fair place this evening. Tommy Nat Curtis, Rony Huff. Good morning, man. Well done, Tommy. Good stuff, mate. Who's been with you? What are you? I'm not there. Jimmy, now. He doesn't know where he's going. It's a new trick. There we go. It's foreign. Alrighty. And in second place, our friends from Malaysia, one of the brothers, Zamri Saleh. Well done, Zamri. Good work. These boys are training up the Tour of Langkawi in, from the Jeremy Hunt stable. And the winner of the race this evening is brother Harif Saleh from Malaysia. Well done, Harif. They're also kind of call from social members and come out and support our racing each year. They were telling me before how they wanted to thank all our volunteers for coming out and setting this up for us and putting on great racing. Special mentions, I believe, were to the president for the great job that he's been doing. <laughs> Brian Reeves, give him a bag, I think he's about to be sick. 